You prayed and believed your whole life, and here you are. Explain that to me. What do you say to people that are offended by your show because you pray to Jesus in every episode? If we disown him, he'll disown us. A 12-year-old watches his mother dying of cancer. A God who would allow that is not worth believing in. Life is really a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury and signifying nothing. I am Professor Radisson. This is Philosophy 150. I would like to bypass senseless debate altogether and jump to the conclusion which every sophomore is already aware of. There is no God. All that I require from each of you is that you fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words. God is dead. Mr. Wheaton, is something wrong? I can't do what you want, I'm a Christian. If you cannot bring yourself to admit that God is dead, then you will need to defend the antithesis. So your acceptance of this challenge may be the only meaningful exposure to God and Jesus they'll ever have. See, to me, he's not dead. I don't want anyone to get talked out of believing in him just because this professor thinks they should. Mr. Wheaton, are you ready? God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside, roaring like a lion. God's not dead, surely alive. Supports his existence, you know the truth. So why do you hate him? It's a very simple question. Why do you hate God? God's not dead, he's surely alive. He's living on the inside.